Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at binary shifts. We're going to be looking at logical, arithmetic and cyclic binary shifts and we'll be looking at how you can perform them doing a left shift and a right shift in each. Okay, let's get started. So the first one we're going to look at is how to do a left shift. This is the easiest one because it works for both logical and arithmetic shifts. Uh, which is good. So let's say we've got a binary number here and we want to perform a logical or arithmetic left shift on it. The first thing we do is we just move each digit one to the left, each bit one to the left. So each of those numbers goes one goes into there, zero goes into there, one goes into there and the end number looks like that so far which is brilliant. Once you've done that, you'll notice here that the number one here, well, that just gets discarded. We don't need that uh, because we're not, we don't need that for this particular one. And here we've got a space. So what we do here, because it's a left shift, is we just add a zero in on the right hand side. So there is our new number. The whole thing's moved along by one, but we've just stuck a zero on the right hand side. Good. Okay, so let's have a look, let's have a quick practice of that. So here are a couple of examples, and a good idea now is just pause the video and see if you can work them out for yourself. There we go, three, two, one. Well, as you can see here, this is uh, example number one. So we've shifted this two to the left, so the one would move two to the left, all the others would move two to the left, so we'd lose these first two digits here. And then on the right hand side, it would just be padded out with zeros. And same concept here, but this time we're going to move it four along to the left. So the first four digits would say bye bye. Now these would move right along to the left, which they have there. And we just pad it out with four zeros. So that is how to do a left shift on a, um, a logical or arithmetic left shift. So, but what about a right shift? Well, logical and arithmetic right shifts work slightly different. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the logical right shift first. Now with this one, it's quite similar to the, uh, the left shift that we've just done. So the first thing that you do is you move each of those um, digits along by one, but this time you're shifting them to the right instead of to the left. There we go. And you'll notice that this time, this number on the right hand side here gets discarded. And just like before, we fill the left hand side with a zero. There we go. So now you have done a logical right shift. Move them all along by one to the right hand side. And then just discard the right hand side one there and just stick a zero on the left. And again, you just repeat for the number of shifts required. So let's have some examples of those. Here we go, we're gonna shift this one by three and to the right and this one by five to the right. So try and work it out for yourself. Pause the video here. Three, two, one. And those are the answers. As you can see here, we've lost the three right hand bits here and they've just gone bye bye. These other five digits have moved all the way along and we filled or padded out the left hand side with three zeros. And here again, same done there. What we've done is we've moved along five, one, two, three, four, five. So we've only got these digits remaining, these three, and all the rest is padded out with zeros. So that's a logical right shift. Let's move on to the next one, uh, which is the arithmetic right shift. Now this one's slightly different. And the reason it's different is because it's arithmetic, we're going to be using this. It's if you need to use it with, um, like for instance, any binary number that's in two's complement form or anything that's got a sign bit on it. If we're trying to use it for division or multiplication, you can't just throw away the bits. Um, the reason being is that if you do throw away the bits, you lose the sign and therefore you switch the number around completely. A positive number would turn to a negative and so forth. Okay, so we do something slightly different. And what we do is, it starts off the same, so each of the bits, if we're moving to the right, 
each of the bits move along one, which is just the same as before. Uh, the number on the right hand side gets discarded, just as before. But this time what we do is instead of just filling this with a zero, we fill it with whatever is in the right and uh, sorry, the left hand side here. So the most important, the most significant bit here, not only does it get copied into here, but it also gets copied into here as well. So that's slightly different for the arithmetic right shift. Good. There we go. So let's have a practice of there. There we go. And um, we got two numbers here. Uh, we got binary number. This is a negative binary number because it starts with a one because we've got it in two complement form, should we say? And this is a positive binary number because it starts with a zero. So let's shift those over. Pause the video and have a go yourself. Three, two, one, and there you go. You can see here that it moved along once so that this one would get moved into here but then it also did it over again so you can see here that, that one has been shifted over two times and there we go and these two here have just been discarded similar sort of thing here um, so what's happened here is it's shifted over four places so all four of these will be gone here uh, this bit is here but because this the first most significant bit was a zero then that just keeps on getting passed along. If it starts with a zero, it will continue getting passed along with a zero. If it starts with a one, that one will again keep getting filled in. Good. So that's the arithmetic right shift. Which brings us on to our last one, which is this cyclic shift. Now this one behaves slightly differently, um, but actually it's really, really quite easy. And it's the only one where none of the original bits are actually lost. They're just shifted around. And what happens is, let's say you're doing a shift to the right, you do exactly the same as your normal, so you move all the bits over to the right, and then what happens is, instead of discarding this bit here, and then sticking something new in there, what we do is that bit here just feeds all the way around and goes into the other end. And you could do that all the way along, one, two, three, four, however many you want to. There you go. So let's again, let's do an example of that one. There we go. You can see the one's been passed into the end. And here we go. There's two examples. So see if you can work them out. This one is shifted a cyclic shift to the right by two. This is a cyclic shift to the left by two. There we go. So give you three. Pause the video now. Three, two, one. There we go. And there you go, you can see it there. So this one's been shifted to, to the right. So what happens here is all of these bits move along here and these two bits here that were on the right go off to the left. There we go, good. And there we go. Uh, zero, one, one, zero. Yeah, that's how I thought that was wrong then. And here on the right hand side, here you've got shifted four to the left. So these four on the left here would come out and go onto the right hand side here just on the other side of it good so that's the cyclic shift examples those are all done and that's pretty much it all we'll do is i'll just leave you with this summary that shows how each of them works so you can you know if you need to take notes this is probably the time to do it there you go and that's uh, that's that's about it as always, I'll put links to my site with all the worksheets and this presentation. If you want to go through the presentation or if you're a teacher and you want to you know, steal it and use it yourself, then uh, feel free to do so. And if you do like the videos, feel free to subscribe and like, etc. Any problems, just drop a comment. Thank you very much.